Hi everyone, Dr. Bina here. Today we are discussing uh, iron metabolism linear revision. Uh, in the uh, university, two types of question came main is how is iron absorbed and transported for 5 mark and the absorption of iron as such for 3 mark. So uh, either way it can come, sometimes storage also can be asked. So iron, uh, how it is distributed? Distributed uh, in the body, uh, that is total its content is 3 to 5 grams. Out of it, 75 percentage is in the blood and the rest is in the liver, bone marrow and muscles. Uh, and uh, it is present almost in the almost all cells so every cell contains iron then blood contains 14.5 grams of hemoglobin per 100 ml and about 75 percent of the total iron is in the hemoglobin and 5 percentage in the muscle that is in the as myoglobin or 15 percentage as the storage from ferritin now what are the requirements of iron Daily elements of iron for an adult Indian is 20 milligram, out of which one about 1 to 2 milligram only will be absorbed. That is only 10 percentage of the total uh, consumption is absorbed. And ch children between 13 and 15 years need 20 to 30 milligrams per day and the pregnant women needs around 40 milligrams per day because the requirement is more in pregnancy. Now what are the sources? It can be either vegetarian source or non-vegetarian. Vegetarian source mainly seen in the green leafy vegetables and also pulses and cereals also. Pulses and cereals contains little less than the vegetarian uh, vegetables but uh, as an Indian uh, culture we are consuming more of cereals so we are getting iron through the cereals also. And uh, non-vegetarian sources are the main thing is the liver and meat and they are can they are rich in iron then jaggery is a, a another a good um, source of iron so that is why in the children uh, we used to give porridges added with, with where the jaggery is added and cooking in iron utensils will improve the iron content in the diet so if you cook in the iron utensils that will also improve the iron content and another thing is the milk is a poor source of iron. Now the, uh, we have to write about the factors influencing the iron absorption. Iron absorption is, uh, iron is absorbed in the upper part of the duodenum and usually uh, iron is absorbed in the reduced form. That is only in the ferrous form it is absorbed, not in the ferric form. Remember only in the ferrous form. Then there are factors which increases the iron absorption and so there are factors which decreases iron absorption. So what are the ingre uh, factors increases? Uh, that is one important one is ascorbic acid or vitamin C and that will help in reducing the ferric to ferrous with the help of gastric HCL and then cysteine, uh, amino acid cysteine and the SH group of certain proteins. These are the most important factors which increases iron absorption and those are uh, sub substances which interfere with the iron absorption are um, phytic acid which is present in cereals and oxalic acid which is present in the vegetables. Uh, then there are some minerals which decreases iron absorption that is calcium, copper, lead and phosphate and which will uh, usually uh, inhibit the iron absorption. Uh, one atom of lead will inhibit absorption of thousand atoms of iron usually. Now the absorption proper uh, it mainly takes place in the duodenum and jejunum and the iron metabolism is unique that is particular that uh, the homeostasis normal level is maintained by regulation at the level of absorption not at the level of excretion that is the importance it is not uh, absorption uh, its level is not maintained by the level at the excretion only at the level of absorption when iron stores in the body is decreased or depleted absorption is enhanced when the adequate quantity of iron is stored, then the absorption is decreased. So whenever there is more need of iron, uh, uh, more absorption is uh, uh, occurring. And if there is enough iron in the body, the absorption is decreased. This is referred to as the mucosal block of regulation of iron absorption. Now the ferrous iron in the intestinal lumen, uh, 
iron may be present in ferric form in the food but it is reduced with the help of vitamin c or gastric acl in the stomach etc to the ferrous form once the ferrous form is uh, formed ferrous iron is formed it binds to the mucosal cell protein called the divalent metal transporter 1 and then transported into the mucosal cell so ferrous iron come passes through the divalent metal transporter into the intestinal mucosal cell inside the mucosal cell the ferric is iron is formed and is complex with the apoferritin to form the ferritin so after entering the uh, intestinal mucosal cell uh, this again converted to ferric and then combines with apoferritin to form the ferritin which is the storage form um, the iron releases from the intestinal cell to the blood stream that is a separate method the iron in the ferric uh, iron in the ferric form is released then it crosses the mucosal cell with the help of the transporter protein called the ferroportin and the iron crosses the cell membrane and ferrous in the ferrous form so again from the ferritin it is iron is released which is in the ferric form it is converted to ferrous and then it is released through the trans uh, ferroportin to the blood stream in the blood it reoxidized to ferric state and then transported by the transferrin that is the transport form is the transferrin so in the blood the ferric uh, ferrous is again converted to ferric by the uh, ceruloplasmin which has got a ferroxidase activity and it is converted to ferric then the ferric combines with apoferritin apotransferrin to form the transferrin which is the transport form so that is the usual thing happen so in this diagram you can see the first is the in the blood food it is in the ferric form then here uh, it is reduced to ferrous and then the divalent metal transporter is there in spanning over the mesh border and then through that it is reaching the in, uh, mucosal cell uh, where it is again converted to ferrous uh, uh, it is in the ferrous form so then again it is converted to ferric and ferric combines with the apoferritin to form the ferritin so the whole thing is the ferritin and now it is in the ferric form whenever uh, iron is required it is again th this ferric form is converted to ferrous and then it is released through the intestinal border and it is combining with the uh, apotransferrin to form the transferrin and transported through the blood so you have to draw this diagram and explain whenever you are asked to write about the absorption now how it is regulated there are uh, methods of regulation one is mucosal regulation that is absorption of iron needs a divalent metal transporter and ferroportin that is ferroportin is from the in mucosal cell to the blood but the dmt one is from the um, mucosal uh, intestinal lumen to the mucosal uh, cell so the synthesis of both these proteins are down regulated by hepcidin hepcidin is a polypeptide uh, which is synthesized in the liver when there is enough iron so whenever there is enough iron in the body hepcidin will produced and hepcidin will down regulate the dmt1 and ferroportin so what happens the absorption will not take place so if there is hypoxia or anemia the synthesis of hepcidin will not occur only when there is enough iron see hepcidin is synthesized so in the case of anemia there is no synthesis of hepcidin so if there is no hepcidin there will be enough uh, divalent metal transporter uh, dmt1 as well as the ferroportin so more iron can be absorbed through the transporter and from the cell more of iron can be released to the blood also the hepcidin decreases the surface expression of the ferroportin which is responsible for the moving of iron that we have already explained now the second method of regulation is the stores regulation as the body stores are fault that is iron content is falling the mucosa is signals to uh, increase the absorption similarly in erythropoietic regulation also is there in response to anemia you know uh, erythropoiesis means the uh, production of rbc so in response to anemia the erythroid cells will signal the mucosa to increase the iron absorption so when there is anemia the mucosal cells are signal to increase the absorption there is a reciprocal relationship between the synthesis of ferritin and transferrin receptors that is when there is enough uh, more iron is there then more of ferritin is stored but that time there is no requirement for the cell so that is why transferrin receptors are not produced and there is no uh, uptake into the cell then uh, the transport uh, form of iron is transferrin we have explained how it is forming in the blood uh, ferrous is uh, taken to the blood where it is converted to uh, 
oxidized ferric by the ceruloplasmin or peroxidase activity the protein ceruloplasmin to um, ferric form then it combines with epotransferrin to form the transfer uh, so the mode of transferring iron in the blood is the transferrin form don't uh, get confused ferritin is the storage form transferrin is the transport form normal plasma level is uh, 250 mg per uh, 100 ml in deficiency anemia it is increased and one molecule of transferrin can combine with two molecules two atoms of iron that is in the ferric form two ferric form combines with one epotransferrin to form the transferrin then the tibc what is tibc total ion binding capacity in the plasma that is 400 microgram per 100 ml is the value this is provided by the transferrin again one third of the capacity is saturated with iron in iron deficiency anemia the tibc is increased that is level is increased uh, but the serum level is uh, uh, serum iron level will be decreased but the tibc level will be increased in anemia in blood celluloplasmin is the uh, peroxidase uh, which you oxidize that we have already explained how it is oxidized in the blood that is by the ceruloplasmin and there are transferrin receptor that also we explained that is uh, taking the iron transferrin complex into the cell and the whole uh, the complex together with the transferrin receptors are taken to the cell where it is uh, internalized and iron is uh, entering the cell for the use so iron transferrin receptors are mainly seen on the cell membrane where the uh, hemoglobin synthesis occurs so the ion transferring receptor is internalized and ion is taken by the cells. Now the few words about the storage. There are two forms of storage. Mainly the one is the ferritin. It is the storage form seen in intestinal mucosal cell, liver, spleen and the bone marrow. The apoferritin can take to 4000 iron atom per molecule. The ferritin contains about 23% of iron. So the major part of the storage is in the form of ferritin where around 4000 iron can iron atom can be uh, taken up by an apoferritin normal plasma contains very little ferritin but ferritin in the plasma is increased uh, in iron overload when there is excess iron in the body ferritin level will be increased and the ferritin level of the blood is an index of the iron status of the body Another uh, synthesis of uh, transferrin receptors and ferritin are reciprocally controlled that we explained. When there is enough iron, uh, it, the iron is stored in the ferritin form, then that time there is no requirement in the cell, so there, there won't be uh, transferrin receptors produced. So there won't be uh, intake into the cell because excess is stored as the ferritin. In iron deficiency anemia, ferritin content is reduced. Then uh, another storage form is the hemosiderin uh, that is uh, formed by the partial deproteinization of ferritin by the lysosome and are found in aggregate in tissues like liver, spleen and bone marrow. So again this is a partially deprotein uh, partial deproteinized type of storage form of iron uh, that is from the ferritin it can be produced and it is uh, more insoluble it is not soluble as the ferritin uh, and the iron is more slowly released so it is not soluble so that the release of iron is very slow from the hemosiderin so when you are asked to write uh, about the storage form of iron you can write the uh, ferritin mainly and also you can mention hemosiderin it's a partially deprotinized form of ferritin which is seen which is also can be a considered as a storage form so this much uh, regarding the uh, iron uh, metabolism for you mainly the absorption sometimes to sources also can be asked so vegetarian and non-vegetarian source you can write and the rd recommended allowance that is 20 milligram per day and the method of absorption you can draw the diagram and explain and then the transport form of iron is transferring and the storage form of iron is ferritin. Thank you.